What is up guys? Welcome to yet another video. Hope you guys are doing awesome. It is no secret that underwater footage straight out of the camera usually looks quite bad. It tends to feel washed out, it's lacking contrast and it's not at all like the cool GoPro advertising you've seen, unfortunately. Today I'll show you how to fix it in a few super easy steps. Stick around until the end and I'll tell you a few bonus tricks on how to make your underwater footage look even better. Before we go ahead, we need to speak about one simple piece of theory and that is the main reason why underwater footage tends to look bad. You got the sun here and the water surface here. Beneath the water surface you got a much smaller amount of the color spectrum available compared to when on land. So the deeper you go, the more color you tend to lose. Red tends to disappear first, then orange, then yellow, and that part of the color spectrum is kind of like the main dominant element that we have to fix in our color correction effort. That means all we gotta do is compensate for warm colors and mainly reds. That principle is the same in any software, no matter if it's photo or video editing, but in this case, I'll demonstrate on how to do it in two major video editing apps. The first one is Adobe Premiere Pro, the other one is a free tool called HitFilm, which has very simple and intuitive color grading tools that are very similar to popular photo editing apps like Lightroom. But as I said, we are mainly compensating for the color red. And that principle is the same in literally any software, so don't get too hung up on a particular tool that you're using, okay? Cool, so I selected a GoPro clip that suffers from all of these issues and I'll show you how to fix it, okay? So first example, let's load up the clip in Premiere Pro. Now, in any software, there are multiple ways to bring back red. And a popular function that brings back warmer colors is simply the temperature slider. So first things first, we notice the very green looking tint and that results from the lacks of reds and warm colors, as I said. That doesn't look great. So all you gotta do is head over to the Lumetri panel and now all you gotta do is shift the temperature slider more towards orange, which is a much warmer color. And that looks already much better but I noticed that things are still a little bit too greenish and feel a little bit off. So all I have to do is modify the green to magenta slider, which will bring back a more natural blue hue. Cool. Next, I wanna bring back more details and restore contrast in the image. And what I like to do is, first I lift up the shadows and I tend to decrease the highlights to kind of bring back information in the image. And then I like to push up the whites uh, pull down the blacks and I can also increase the contrast a bit. Premiere also has an excellent inbuilt LUT that I find super suitable for underwater footage and it gives you a more dramatic stylized effect. So just head over to the creative panel and now you can simply select that and you'll see that things get way too oversaturated. So make sure to decrease the intensity and voila, awesome. Here you see the before and after with and without the color grade. And as you can see, the turtle looks so much more natural and has a lot more vibrant colors. Got a few more bonus tips prepared for you, which will help you to avoid bad underwater footage in the first place. But first, I show you a few more sophisticated tools in HitFilm. Another popular function that exists in virtually any editing software is called curves. Curves allow you to increase or decrease contrast or target a specific color channel. So that is really useful for us because we want to target red specifically. So after I've loaded up HitFilm, I head over to the controls and select effects. Now there is a curves function and what we want to do is select the red channel and now the lowest part represents the shadows, the middle part represents the midtones and the upper part represents the highlights. So if I click three times, I can pull up or push these down to either reduce or introduce more red in the shadows, midtones, and highlights. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull these up to kind of reintroduce reds and see the image looks a lot more natural all of a sudden. And I'm making a couple more tweaks to the general luminance. I search for shadows and highlights and what I wanna do is increase the shadow amount and bring some detail back right there and then I decrease the highlights a tiny bit to make the picture less blown out and recover the detail in the bright parts of the image. Next, I'm searching for the effect called contrast and it's quite self-explanatory. I'm just bumping up the contrast a bit more to make the image 
less flat looking. The next function we want to look for is hue, saturation and lightness or in short HSL. And that basically allows you to shift colors, saturate particular color channels or increase their luminosity. The reason why I like to use this in hit film is because that tool is super super intuitive in that particular software. All right. Now I drag and drop the HSL function and then I move to the green color channel and I shift that towards cyan to get rid of this unwanted leftover green color cast. Next I select cyan and mess with that a little bit to give it a nicer shade of the blue. And lastly I select the blue channel, shift that a little bit more towards purple to get a richer more navy blue and then I decrease the lightness a tiny bit to emphasize that effect and see all of a sudden you have a lot of richness in the water and it does look less weird and green. And there you have it. Before we get to the bonus tips, I wanted to thank FX Home, the maker of HitFilm, who were kind enough to make today's videos possible. If you're interested in trying out a super intuitive video editing app that is also free of charge, then just head over to fxhome.com and you can download it for virtually free. The app allows you to export stuff in HD resolution and gives you access to a library of cool stuff like graphics, music and sound effects, which is super convenient because you don't have to search these assets from a hundred different sources. Instead, the library is directly built into the software and that is very much plug and play. Now, if you want to step up your game, then they got a super affordable plan which costs less than $10 a month. That gives you pro features like higher resolution and even a larger catalog of editing assets. They got a launch bonus which knocks off another like 20-ish percent of the price which makes the deal even sweeter. So feel free to check it out. All right, as promised, here are some more bonus tips. First, white balance. The first tip is setting the white balance on your underwater camera to daylight or 5500 Kelvin. Because you, if you leave it at auto white balance, then your camera might change it all the time and that makes color corrections almost impossible. Bonus tip number two is knowing the limits of your device. The deeper you go, the less light you are able to capture. So if you have a GoPro with a relatively tiny sensor, you can't really dive like 40 meters deep and expect to have a flawless image. If you have a big camera with an underwater housing, you might be able to push it a bit further, but you will also reach your limits relatively quick. So that is why I recommend staying near the water surface and filming at midday because the sun will hit the water from the top and give you the best possible light. And that is it for today. If you found any value in this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you check out HitFilm. It's totally free, so you have nothing to lose. And feel free to subscribe if you're into these kind of tutorials so we can hang out here in the future on the channel. And I hope you have a really, really awesome day and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.